Now, I've been a Bears fan for most of my life. And I can honestly say I have never, ever, ever, ever seen anything as atrocious as yesterday's game against the New England Patriots, who, by the way, can arguably be, it could be argued that they are, the Patriots are the worst team in the NFL. I mean, Panthers fans might have an argument about that. So, let's just go over what happened yesterday. Caleb Williams, number one overall draft pick. In the last three games, he's lost to the Washington Commanders, Jaden Daniels, which I get it. That was a Hail Mary play. I get it. The whole Tyreek Stevenson incident with that Hail Mary play. And then yesterday, to a New England team headed up by their first round draft pick, Drake May. Um, where do I begin? Let's talk offensive line. Now, I get it that the offensive line has been decimated by injuries. But even prior to yesterday, with the offensive line mostly intact, it wouldn't matter if you put Joe Montana back there behind that old line. It wouldn't matter if you put Peyton Manning back there behind that old line. They cannot protect the quarterback. They haven't been able to protect the quarterback the entire year. Now, Ryan Poles, who, by the way, is a former offensive lineman, had stated, I think it was in preseason, that he was happy with the depth they have within the O-line. Really? How's that working out for you? Now. Let's get to Shane Waldron, offensive coordinator, brought in to uh, help guide Caleb Williams through his rookie season. Um, I hate to say it, but bring back Luke Getze. I mean, yeah, he was fired in Oakland just a week or two ago. Couldn't hurt. I mean, really, nine sacks. Nine. So this is from Yahoo Sports. Matt Eberflus Bears basically punted the ball for three hours against the Patriots as their 2024 spirals. If you thought the Chicago Bears had reached rock bottom after losing on a disastrous Hail Mary, you were wrong. Well, I think that Hail Mary pretty much tanked their season. Most people, including myself, thought the Bears after the New England game would be 7-2 and two, with the hardest part of their schedule coming up. I mean, you have two against the Lions. You've got two against the Packers. You've got two against the Vikings with games against San Francisco and Seattle sandwiched in there. I, I don't see a path for this team now at four and five. Um, finishing out the year with the winning record at all. I mean, it wouldn't surprise me if they lose the remaining eight games. And they end up being four and 13. After scoring three points against the Wolfville New England Patriots on Sunday, Matt Eberflus... Bunch has somehow found another way, another new nadir. As a result, the coaching seat couldn't be any hotter. Yeah, if you watched that game on TV yesterday, or if you were at the game at Soldier Field yesterday, there were chants of fire flus roaring throughout the stadium. In fact, I even saw over on X yesterday afternoon after the game that Fire Flus was, uh, people were starting to try to get that trend. Hashtag Fire Flus. My opinion, he should have never, 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 ever, ever been allowed to coach this season. 
You're drafting a quarterback number one overall. Bring in a new head coach, new staff, and go from there. But no, 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 Ryan Poles. We're confident in Matt Eberflus. Yeah. There are simply too many ways to point out how futile the Bears all-around effort was against New England, especially on offense. Kayla Williams and company couldn't even get anything going all afternoon with eight punts on 10 possessions. First, there's the fact the Bears have now scored, not scored a touchdown in two straight games. That's the franchise's longest such streak in two decades. Andrew Siciliano put this out. The Bears have failed to score a touchdown in back-to-back -to -back games for the first time in 20 years. Kevin Fishbane put this one out there. The Bears have given up at least six sacks in back-to-back -back games for the first time since 1993. They've given up six-plus sacks in, in a game seven times under Matt Eberflus. It happened only three times for 2013 to 2021, which was the Trustman, Fox, and Matt Nagy era. I think one of the... No, that was... There was a game where Jay, Jay Cutler was sacked six times against the Giants, but I think that was back in 2010. So over here on Marquee, evaluating Kay and Williams' Bears performance versus the Patriots. First time since December 2004 where the Bears have failed to score a touchdown in back-to-back -back games. It's also the first time since 1993 that the Bears quarterback has been sacked six times in back-to-back -back games. I like this one here from the Sun Times, making the grade, assessing Bears players, coaches, and lost to Patriots. Quarterback D. Offensive line F. Shane Waldron F. Matt Eberflus F. Ryan Poles F. You know the Bears historically, I don't think they have ever fired a head coach in the middle of a season. Kevin Warren, you have millions of angry Bears fans out there that are calling for Matt Eberflus's head. And at Hollis Hall today, I think it's time for Kevin Warren to say, you know what? I'm president of this team. I'm running this team. It's time to assert my power, insert my influence, and it's time to make a change. Head coach, offensive coordinator, We got to help. We got to help out our young quarterback. I mean, this season's this season, in my opinion, is a total loss. It's a loss. So, I mean, this is on this is on Matt Eberflus. This is on Ryan Poles. This is on Kevin Warren. And it's time for Kevin Warren to step in and say, "Done. Time to turn the page on the Matt Eberflus era." Appoint an interim head coach while you're making while you're while you're doing your coaching search. I, I saw yesterday Ron Rivera's name was floated out there. Ex Chicago Bear, by the way. So, what do you guys think of the situation in Chicago? I mean, I think the Hail Mary tanked their season. I don't think they recover, but. What do you guys think? Comment down below. Tell me what you guys think. While you're at it, please take the time to smash that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Hit that notification bell so you don't miss a video. And with that, I will see you guys.